Well, good morning, everyone. It's a bit daunting having my name up there twice, I'm sorry. <laughs> for, the, for those that don't know me, I'm Sally Musson. I'm a licensed lay minister in this parish, and I will be leading you in some direction or other through this service this morning and also opening God's word to you. But it's very good to be able to welcome you here and those joining on the live stream too. Um, I think I can picture some of the rooms I might be also sitting in at the moment, so it's, uh, it is good to be with you. And we're, we're in our last of the sermon series for the summer in John and Confrontations with Jesus, and um, perhaps a slightly different take on this healing of the man at the pool this morning. But the theme we were given is um, get up and walk, but I should be... Uh, drawing on that slightly differently. But do be, do be comfortable in, in all the service. If you want to remain seated, that is absolutely fine. Um, we are in our summer pattern of series still, and uh, we do have, I think we have, we, at least I can see two children over there. Um, we do have some children with us, and we'll have them for a bit longer, which is great as well. Everything you need will be on the screen this morning. So let's just pause for a moment before we uh, prepare to come to worship. So let's join together in our opening worship and please respond throughout in the words in the bold type. The light and peace of Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. The glory of the Lord has risen upon us let, Let us, us rejoice and sing God's praise forever. Well, there are a few notices, but I'm basically going to refer to a notice sheet that hasn't come out yet, because the next one will be on th should be coming out this Thursday. 
So you have got all the de much of the detail in your existing sheet, but just to highlight a few things. Um, and we got our last session of uh, Tuesday evening towards belief this week. Um, it's been great to have 40 or 50 so people to those sessions. And this week is on God and suffering. You can still turn up if you haven't been to one. Seven o'clock for, for food, but it would be good, I think, to perhaps let John or the office know if you are coming then, or 7.45 for the discussions. Next Saturday, high tea at St. Philip's to raise funds for the St. Peter and St. Paul School in Condoa so they can uh, take gifts and things to them. T uh, two till four. Um, do please uh, book for that and go along if you can, but I'm sure they would welcome donations even if you aren't able to be at the tea. And Sunday the, se the 10th of September is our parish-wide service here, and Chris Wright and the Langham Partnership will be coming, and Chris will be speaking on that occasion. So th that will be the only service in the parish that morning, apart from the 8 o'clock. And the foundation of our vision is prayer. And there will be a prayer evening starting in September at St. Philip's on the first Wednesday of the month at 7.30 and here at Peter and Paul on the second Thursday of the month at 7.45. This will also be details in the newsletter. And for those that have been doing a summer read and would like to discuss that book, then there is a discussion evening on Tuesday the 12th of September 7.45 here at PNP. And a bit farther ahead, two sessions, um, you can come to both, or one if you can't do both, Talking Church, a pastoral uh, counsel, uh, evening from Biblical Counselling. Um, Friday the 22nd of September in the evening and Saturday the 23rd in the morning. Again, do contact the parish office. And for those of you that... Uh, knew Ron Jones, um, who passed away recently. Um, his funeral service is here in the parish church at one o'clock on Tuesday, the 5th of September. So if you knew Ron and would like to come along and support the family, uh, you'd be most welcome to do so. So that's most. Anything I've missed out will be in the new sheet anyway. So let's just uh, hold a moment's quiet. So we're now going to stand and sing, and our first worship song is well known and well loved by many, I think. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul.
Do please be seated. It can be a burden, can't it, carrying around the thoughts of those things that we have done wrong and those things that we haven't done and we put off doing. And whilst God wants to, God knows our innermost thoughts, he also wants to hear us say sorry. So let's come now in quiet and with humble hearts to our time of confession. We come to God as one from whom no secrets are hidden to ask for his forgiveness and peace. So let's join together in the words on the screen. God of mercy, we acknowledge that we are all sinners. We turn from the wrong that we have thought and said and done and are mindful of all that we have failed to do. For the sake of Jesus, forgive us all that is past and help us to live each day in the light of Christ our Lord. Amen. And God, as God wishes to hear us confess our sins, he also wishes to give us absolution from those sins and that assurance of forgiveness. So may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. So one thing we can do to encourage each other is declare our faith together, knowing that others are doing it in similar words and different words, I know, but throughout the world and throughout the fellowship. So if you feel able to stand and uh, declare our faith, then do so. If not, do just listen to us doing it. So would you like to stand? Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? Do you believe and trust in him? Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us, and rose again? Do you believe and trust in him? Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God, and makes Christ known in the world. We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So we're going to sing again now, so if you're able, do remain standing as we sing, Open the eyes of my heart, Lord, as we've just opened our hearts to God. Let's see.
Do please be seated and Josephine's going to bring our reading for us. Thank you. The reading this morning is from John's Gospel, chapter 5, starting at the first verse. In the Pew Bibles, it's 1068. John chapter 5. Some time later, Jesus went up to Jerusalem for the feast of the Jews. Now there is in Jerusalem near the Sheep Gate a pool, which in Aramaic is called Bethsaida, and which is surrounded by five coloured colonnades. Here a great number of disabled people used to lie, the blind, the lame, the paralysed. From time to time, an angel of the Lord would come down and stir up the waters. The first one into the pool after each such disturbance would be cured of whatever disease he had. One who was there had been an invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, do you want to get well? Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. While I am trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. Then Jesus said to him, get up, pick up your mat and walk. At once the man was cured. He picked up his mat and walked. The day on which this took place was a Sabbath, and so the Jews said to the man who had been healed, it is the Sabbath, the law forbids you to carry your mat. But he replied, the man who made me well said to me, pick up your mat and walk. So they asked him, who is this fellow who told you to pick it up and walk? The man who was healed had no idea who it was for Jesus had slipped away into the crowd that was there. Later, Jesus found him at the temple and said to him, see, you are well again. Stop sinning or something worse may happen to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks Thank be to God. God. Thank you, Josephine. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to say something that's going to be not work or not, but I've seen some children here, so if they are going to the groups, are they going to the groups? Hopefully. I will pray for them anyway. And we do have children in the creche, so we can be thinking about those. So don't go yet. Don't go anywhere yet. Sorry, you've got a song to sing. I'm just going to pray for you, and then we're going to sing. So stay put. Gosh, they're keen. Watch out, you two. <laughs> Let's pray. Whilst we love having the children with us, we pray now that their time together, in their time together, they may learn more about Jesus in a joyful and understandable way. Give wisdom and encouragement to those leading that group this morning. And we pray also for those in the creche, those leading and those being present. May they all enjoy their time of fellowship and learning together. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, we do have a song to sing, and then the children can go. I'm going to cry help at this stage, because the song's got some actions, and Alison is going to lead us in them. Thank you. I always think it's really brave coming in, but we won't know if you got them wrong, will we, really? <laughs> She's got a crib sheet as well. You can still do it at home because you don't need to stand up.
Alison, sorry you're supposed to be having a Sunday off and we're making you work. Children, you can go now. <laughs> Thank you. And we, we're going to sing again as they go. So if you, if you can, do remain standing and we're going to sing Amazing Grace.
Do please be seated. A moment's quiet and then I'll pray. Heavenly Father, may my words be your words and may our hearts and minds be open to receive your message for us today through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. I know I've asked this question before, not just this morning, because I have 